So in this video, I'm going to show you some really simple and easy ways to um, adjust our work. Um, we don't want to um, necessarily Photoshop it so that it's unrecognisable. We don't want to touch the work itself, but we do want to be showing our work in the best light possible. Um, so the two apps that I'm going to be using is this one. It's called Airbrush. There are some free functionalities on it and there are also some paid options. And then this one, Facetune Basic. So I'm going to go ahead and open um, the Airbrush app. This is a picture that I've already airbrushed and we're going to do this one together so that you can see how to remove and how to remove blemishes, how to smooth the skin and how to just lighten and enhance uh, without changing. So I'm going to get rid of that picture and I'm going to find the one that I want to edit. which is this lip picture here. Now looking here, we've got a few little freckles. Um, we may or may not want to remove those. I'm gonna remove those in this video so that you can see. Um, I want to kind of highlight um, the work a little bit, but without changing it. And I want to get rid of some of this, this uh, natural skin redness that she has around um, the lip. So I'm gonna show you um, how I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna start by going into going into tools and then going into enhance so this part we can actually do on our normal um, camera application but i'm doing it in here to show you and what i want to do first of all is to remove any shadows so i already take um, my pictures under a nice bright ring light but i still get some shadows and so just by adjusting those shadows here we brighten um, we brighten the, the darker areas and then i'm also going to go into brightness now this picture is actually bright enough already i definitely don't want to overexpose it but i may lighten it just a touch now if your camera is um, used to taking pictures that are particularly warm or particularly cool you can also adjust the temperature um, in here there has been some studies to show that we generally tend to favor work that looks on the cooler side but equally we also don't want it to be cool, too cool so i'm quite happy with this one and i'm not going to change that so we've removed our shadows and we've brightened a little bit using the tool and the tools and the enhance. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is just to, to go to the retouch function and I'm going to choose the acne function. And that is going to allow me to take away acne, but it's also going to allow me to take away little patches of darkness, little freckles, anything like that that I might want to get rid of. So I'm going to just press on where I want to remove and that tool is automatically going to take away these perfection imperfections. Now there are auto tools in this app which will do this for you, but I actually like doing it manually. I think when you do it manually, it gives you a much better um, outcome and stops the skin from looking too plastic. So I'm just gonna go in and just remove those little bits there. So that's perfect. I'm then going to smooth the skin. Now, what I don't want to do is to make the skin look plasticky, and I don't want to remove all of the um, all of the features like the pores, which make it look um, which make it look realistic. So, if I hit Auto as an example and take that all the way up to the end, it automatically smooths, but it also makes the skin look a little bit plasticky. It makes the work look a little bit out of focus. So, I'm going to undo that, and we're going to do that manually. So my brush size, I want something not too big and not too small. That's about right. And then I'm just going to tap very lightly over and we can again adjust how vicious, if you like, that is. So smoothing, but not removing all of the character from the skin. So that's plenty, that's done on there. The other thing that I'm gonna do, use in here is the highlighter option. I'm just gonna Now 
I'm in the free option here, so it won't let me do that. But in the paid version, it will just allow me to kind of crisp up those little tiny lines. Okay, so we are done now with our airbrush. I'm going to download that picture, so I'm going to save it, save it to my camera roll. And now we are going to go into Facetune Basic. So we're going to open Facetune. I'm going to open that photo that I've just been working on. And I'm actually going to use the details um, enhancer in here rather than the paid version in Airbrush. And if I just tap my finger over lightly, it's going to just enhance those little fine um, lines. It will enhance the sheen. So that's my details done. I'm going to hit the blue cross at the top to save that. And now what I use um, Facetune for the most is removing things like redness. So this is great for eyeliner. It's great if you've got those halo around eyebrows. And in this scenario, what we're wanting to do is just to blend in that redness around the lip. So the it's chosen a palette for me, but I actually want to use the picker. And if I use the picker, it's going to pick... You see that palette changes. It's going to pick something which is uh, more in keeping with the client's skin tone. We're going to go to our picker, which is going to pick our colour. And you want to choose somewhere that's nice and light. If I pick here, then I'm picking, you see the tones down the bottom and now the red tones. But we're not going to be editing the work. We just want to freshen the skin. So I'm choosing a colour from her own skin tone there. And then I'm going to tap and every few taps I haven't changed the palette here I'm going to save and the reason that I'm going to save every um, every few taps is I'll show you it's really easy to overdo it and ruin your photo but it's very easy to go back so if you do a little bit of a little bit of tapping through. So again, I've overdone it there just a little, a little bit. So I'm going to tap and then I'm going to save and then I'm going to go back to tones. And then I'm going to save. So I'm just doing it little bit by little bit. Because once you do too much, you've then got to go all the way back again. So this can be a little bit time consuming but it's worthwhile doing. Just gently, gently with my finger, I'm going to save. There was a little area where the client's got a tiny wee bit of melasma up the top there. Ordinarily, I wouldn't take that out, but just to show you again, I'm just going and picking the palette then going to tones. And that's just allowing me to very gently lighten and brighten that area. I might do a little bit under here too. So you see, we're not actually touching the work, we're just adjusting the picture. 
And that is pretty much all that I'm going to do there. So to show you those final and finished comparisons, I'm going to use an app called Moldive. just show you the difference between those two pictures side by side. So you'll see exactly the same work. We've not changed any of the work. We've just um, lightened and brightened the skin and made sure that we're showing it in its best light. If you like this, please subscribe. I'll be doing more um, pictures and have lots of PMU um, tips to help you improve and explore the wonderful world of permanent makeup.